Um, I'm going to be making Mauritian sea bass with uh, lemongrass and coconut velouté. I wanted to do something that displays some modernist techniques and uh, with a lot of flavour. I'm also preparing a water bath to 49 degrees Celsius that I'm going to poke dry fish in. I'm going to cook it sous vide, which means under vacuum. Welcome. Thank you. What have you got for us? Um, I have got what I call a modern international fish of mystery, or Mauritian sea bass with uh, lemongrass and coconut velouté. Run us through a little bit of the process of how you put this dish together. Well, this dish is sort of a confluence of French and modernist techniques. Right, just tell me what you've done with that fish. I actually put it in a water bath at 49 degrees. Obviously submerging it in that water bath and controlling the temperature is going to break down those fibres and just let them loosen in the fish and uh, cook it very gently if it's done properly. Yes, I hope it's going to be soft and succulent and um, delicious. So take us through your emulsion. I see you've got the soda siphon. It started off as a French sauce, but then I added all sorts of Thai aromatics and coconut milk, uh, xanthan gum to thicken it a little bit, just to give it some body and some foam. And that's all to avoid the extra fat of a normal sauce. Nice terminology. I can see you've done your homework. Let's tuck into the science experiment and see how it comes out. You know what I enjoy about the science of food is that to do the science properly, you've got to understand the produce. You clearly understand your produce. That's a definite yes from me. Well done. Great yeah. dish. I think it's a well put together, well conceived dish. It worked for me, so it's a yes. Come and get that apron. Well done. Thank you very much. Well thought through. The next home cook hoping to grab one of the 50 aprons for boot camp is 29-year-old Carmony. My philosophy on food is definitely to eat with the seasons. You need to get local produce that's fresh. I also believe that your food should represent a part of your personality and a little bit of who you are, which is kind of what I'm going for here. Yeah. So I'm Carmony Fathan. I currently live in Cape Town, but I'm from Durban and I've been here for the last seven years. Absolutely love the city. I am a freelance media person and I also host a radio show on Two Oceans 5. Hey guys. Look, as a food writer and photographer, I find that I review food, but I'm not often involved in the process. In the realms of fashion and art, we always want to be like the North. And I think that the Southern Hemisphere cooks very differently. The food dream that I think MasterChef could help me to attain is to create a food portal for the Southern Hemisphere. We have so much stuff right here that, that you don't get elsewhere, so I think we should honour and value those things. And I think that I'm done. Hi, chefs. Hey, Kamini. Hi, Kamini. And what have you prepared for us today? It's my grandmother's garam masala, which... Moment of truth here with this lamb. Okay, so we've got perfectly pink lamb on the cauliflower puree. So here's my big chefy move. Well done. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. With blanched asparagus, because those are in season, in a mustard vinaigrette. And on the top, we've got some shallot rings. Uh, okay. And I think that's good. Superb. I loved it. I thought it was absolutely wonderful. The flavours all came together, the creaminess of that cauliflower puree <laughs> and that lamb with that just hint of spice to it. It's absolutely perfect. I thought it was a great dish. Definite yes from me. 
A big yes from me. I loved your dish. As Kalmani's creative flavor combinations hit all the right spots with the judges, can the next contestants maintain the high standard? The moment our next contestant, 47-year-old Sanet, has been waiting for her whole life is finally here. I'm confident. I'm confident in my food. I'm confident in my palate. I cook the food that my friends and family love to eat. So I'm confidently, nervously, freaking out. <laughs> I am making chicken breast fillet, cooked in a porcini and sherry sauce, served on a lightly sage flavoured risotto. I decided to do MasterChef because I have to cook. Cooking is something I have to do. I've devoted 24 years to my family. It's my time. This is my time and this is the place. I'm starting off just to get the risotto going. I'm not using wine, I'm using sparkling wine because this is a celebration. It's a celebration of me being in MasterChef. Everything is perfect, it tastes great, risotto is nice, chicken sauce is brilliant. I'm gonna knock their socks off. Welcome, Sunet. Hi, good evening, judges. What are you gonna be cooking for us today? Um, I'm doing chicken in a sauce with sherry and porcini mushrooms, finished with a bit of cream, and I'm doing it on a risotto flavored with sage. Did you have your hair done for the program? No, my hair's been like this for over a year. Oh, it looks fab. Purple is my color, it's my birthstone, the color of royalty, it's a color of luck. I hope you, you see me in this dish. You put it in your mouth and the sauce is bold and brash and it's in your face and it's purple and it's everything. I'm a mom and I'm lovable and I'm kind and I'm friendly and I'm actually quite a darling. That's what my food is about. There you are. Risotto is a brave choice because it's something that, if overcooked, is like a bowl of porridge. But we'll see. Net. Yeah. Are you in it to win it? Of course. Why else would I be standing here putting myself through this? And the tears? It's just emotion. I think it's the whole day and having my food judged and I know it's good. I know I'm a good cook. I know it's a good dish. It's just having it right on the day. Just everything just rides on this. You want this badly? Oh my goodness, yeah. I think, for me, there's enough skill there for me to want to see more. You so it's a yes. Thank you. So now you've got one yes. Benny? <sighs> Come on. Come on. I think it's a very flavorful dish. It says a lot about you. It really said Sanet. So I say a big yes. Sanet, you're going through to the next round. Oh, fantastic. Well done. Can I give you a hug? Of course you can. <laughs> Boy, you look like Duncan. Woo! Woo! I feel amazing. I feel absolutely amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa.